Hello, my name is Anton. Welcome to a brand new episode of the GT5 Fire Mod. Now, if you watched my previous GTA 5 video, I was playing the LSPDFR Police Mod, and that was a special episode because I created it to show some support for what's happening in California. There's some insane wildfires that are going on there right now. Last I read, uh, the wildfires were bigger than New York City and Boston combined, so they're just getting out of control. And in that episode, I played as a CHP, a California Highway Patrol officer. We got a report here of a wildfire happening right here in our game uh, at the Los Angeles Courts Center or near the Courts Center right off Courts Drive so in that episode if you haven't seen it make sure you watch it uh, if you haven't seen it we went out to the Courts Center to see if we can locate the wildfire to confirm that there is a fire breaking out and we did and it was actually quite big so this episode is now a follow-up to that episode because if you watched it you saw me show up on scene we checked out some of the houses there started evacuating people because it was starting to creep up on the homes so now we're going to go back into that area uh chp has now co uh, co cordoned off the entire area everything is closed down there's fire already on scene we're going to try to put this wildfire out or at least do our best to put this wildfire out and we're going to be using a vehicle created by toy this is the 2015 uh, chevy tahoe the uh, battalion chief edition a beautiful beautiful car i have never used this one before i've done a number of fire live streams and episodes but have never used the battalion car before so there will be another episode coming up with this car a separate episode from this but on tonight's episode we are going to be using this awesome car here to go check out that wildfire so without further ado let's get right into it let's head over to the scene let's see what's going on and let's come up with a plan to hopefully put this wildfire out dispatch um I guess Chief 12, Unit 12, I I don't know even what to call myself here. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Unit 12. Uh, dispatch uh, Unit 12 here heading out to that uh, wildfire right now. Okay, we are approaching the area. California Highway Patrol and the city uh, police have completely closed down this area. So there's still some people evacuating, but all the traffic has been shut down. And you can see here, Here's the uh, here's the actual wildfire. This is where it's happening, right off Quartz Drive. There, we'll make our way up there, check it out. Let's see what's going on. But you can see there's a lot of CHP officers here. Everything has been completely closed off. Let me make uh, my way up here through this uh, closed barricaded area. Just being careful here, not to hit any cars. There we go. We're gonna go up on the hill. We're gonna check out and see if uh, the wildfire is spreading and see what's going on with this thing. Uh, you can see there's a lot of firefighters already here on scene. The scene looks very different from the LSPDFR episode when we were the only unit out here. But you can see there's a lot of fire trucks here, firefighters, CHP officers, yeah, yeah there's a lot of smoke. Tons and tons of smoke continues to pour into the air. Hey guys, how's it going? What do you see down there? Is it spreading? Is it getting worse? Oh yeah, we can see it burning right there. Oh yeah, there's, there's a bunch of stuff there on fire. Let me go over here somewhere. Yeah, you can see right there, we're getting uh, a lot of different pockets of fire. That's what we saw break out in our LSPD fire episode. You can see it's continuing to burn, fires continuing to spread, lots of smoke. Just uh, <laughs> look at that, just pouring into the air. It's nuts. Let me go. Um, I'm not quite sure if the fire is starting to creep up on any of these homes. It's kind of kind of hard to see here from this uh, from this angle, but I'm gonna go check out uh, on the other side there. We do have some firefighters on that side. Oh, I think I see a little pocket of fire right in front of us there. Right by that tree, if you can see it right off in the distance. Uh, let's go Let's go to the other side. I just wanna have a confirmation. We've got a fire truck down there by that house. Maybe there's some fire being spread, uh, spreading that way. So let me go down there. We're gonna check that out and come up with a plan as to how we're gonna combat this thing. Oh, oh my, my nose, I hurt my nose. Are you all right there, buddy? Sorry about that. I'm just rushing to get back to my car. Sorry, guys. Stay safe, okay? All right, let me get back into my vehicle. We're going to head back down that way onto uh, Rockford Drive, I believe that is. Right here, we're on Court Center. Looks like we do have a good uh, amount of firefighters out here to hopefully, hopefully put this thing out. Let me just make my way down here. As you can see, of course, California Highway Patrol completely closed down this entire area. No traffic moving through here at all. You can see the Quartz Drive has been shut down. Just make my way through here, squeezing by this other Tahoe, the California Highway Patrol Tahoe. All right, let's go down this way here. You can see this entire road has been tra shut down. Traffic being directed this way here off uh, Rockford Drive. You can see there's some more people. Uh, there's still some people in the area evacuating. Uh, so we might see a, an occasional vehicle here or there, but you can see everything has been closed down. Lots and lots of uh, 
police presence here as well as firefighters making our way through. Looks like we do have uh, ambulances here on scene as well. Maybe helping out some of the elderly, maybe some people hurt in the houses there that uh, looks like somebody else is evacuating right over there. All right, let's go take a look. Yep, you can see there's the hill on fire. It's burning. There's a fire truck right by that house. Looks like they might be evacuating some people. There's a firefighter right by that door. We were trying to evacuate people earlier from that house. I don't know if there's a, somebody there. And I think I see a house on fire. It looks like the fire has spread. Let's just go through right here. It looks like we do have uh, potentially fire spreading. Uh, dispatch uh, Unit 12. Looks like fire is spreading uh, here on Rockford Drive. It has jumped to one of these homes. Yeah, and I think the garage is now caught on fire. Yep, there it is. You can see right there. It looks like we do have a pocket there burning right by those trees. And you can see it's now spread to the garage. There's smoke pouring out of the garage. All right, we're going to need to get some heavy uh, firefighting equipment out here. <laughs> we're not joking around anymore. You can see there, fire has spread there from that little patch that's burning by those trees. It's now jumped onto the garage. So this house is about to go up in uh, flames here. All right, let's do this. Let me get out. I don't think we're going to be able to make a big difference here with uh, hoses. We're going to have to bring some real equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way down to the airport. We're going to jump into a firefighting helicopter. And we're going to see if maybe we can dump some water on, uh, on all of this. Uh, because there's really, I mean, let's face it. Right now, there's, look at that. You can see it right over there. There's fire right on that hill. You can see we have just three pockets of fire there and that house burning. Um, so there's a very serious situation here on uh, Rockford Drive. All right, I'm going to make my way to the airport. I will meet you there. We're going to get into that helicopter, come back here on the scene, and try to put the sucker out. Uh, dispatch uh, Unit 12, I'm going to be on my way down to Los Santos International to pick up that uh, firefighting helicopter, and we'll be back here on scene momentarily. Arriving at the airport right now, we're gonna pick up our helicopter. Alright, open up. Open up. Hello? Alright, I'm just gonna smash right through the gate. I don't have time for this. We got a major situation there on Quartz Drive. Alright, let's get into our uh, helicopter. Should be right off to the side there. There she is. I'm gonna pull up right next to it. And there we go. All right, let me jump out. So we're going to be using this beast right here. Take a look at this. Look at that. It is absolutely massive. This is the, of course, the uh, Ericsson Air Crane helicopter here that we're going to be using. And it's been outfitted with the state-of-the-art firefighting equipment. It's basically able to suck up a lot of water, a lot of water from the, uh, from the reservoir and then dump it onto our wildfire, hopefully putting it out, or at least we're going to have to probably make a couple of runs. So let's get into it. I believe this is the Sikorsky helicopter, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get into it. We're going to head over right to the uh, fire there. We're going to do a flyby in the air. We're going to see if maybe we can determine how big the fire is, uh, get a good aerial view. We did not do that in the previous episode, so we really have no a, a way of, say, of saying or telling what, uh, what the fire looks like here from the air. So we're going to check that out right now, and then maybe we'll... Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, flying there towards the court center. You can see it's straight up ahead. Right there. Probably should have gotten air traffic control clearance to uh, take off, but oh, we got a major situation. So let's just, let's just, let's just pretend we had clearance to take off because I probably should have done that, but that's okay. All right, let's head over here to the fire coming up. Court center is right up ahead. We should be able to see the lights here any uh, second now. Of all the uh, emergency vehicle, the entire neighborhood is lit, lit up. It's actually kind of cool. So we'll be able to see that here in a second. There it is. You can see it right there. Look at that. That actually looks pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. All right, let's bring her down a little bit. We're going to do a bit of a flyby. See if we can uh, see everything. You can see there's the smoke already coming from that wildfire. Look at that, though. That neighborhood looks really cool. Oh, getting a bit of lag here, I guess, as everything is loading. All right, there is the fire. As we're now just hovering over the neighborhood. Let's see if I can bring her down just a little bit. Yep, it hasn't gotten out of control yet, so we should be able to uh, to put it out. I'll try to bring her a little bit lower. See if we're uh, seeing any pockets here. Did that house go out? Oh, no, there it is. It's still burning. We just had to get a little bit lower for everything to load. 
All right, let's go down here. Let's see if we can see anything down here. Oh, yeah, there's some pockets of fire right down there. All right. You can see it right there. Jump into first-person view. Yep, there's definitely some fire down there. Look at that. Oh, watch out for the trees. Watch out for the trees. Don't want to go too low. All right, I'm going to jump out of first-person because... It's just asking for a disaster here in first person view. Okay, let's head out to the reservoir. We're gonna go pick up some water and uh, start dumping our uh, start dumping our water here. We're gonna head out over here to Vinewood. This is the reservoir here, just on uh, in Vinewood Hills area, and uh, we're gonna pick up some water from uh, the reservoir and then hopefully uh, come back there and start dumping it. Hopefully put that fire out. So I think the reservoir is coming up right here. It's starting to get dark, so. We should be able to see see it though. We should be able to see it. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but we should be able to see it. I think it's coming up right over here. Yep, there it is. There she is. There is the reservoir. All right, let's come down right here. Just like that. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Now I'm going to have to jump into my simple trainer menu just to uh, lower the the hose here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into vehicle options. Uh, doors and windows and I believe we're looking for the right rear door. There we go. It's been extended. There we go. All right. This thing is shaking violently. Let's get out of there. We'll back up a little bit. Make sure we're over water and then down we go. Let's start scooping it up. All right. Let's start lowering ourselves down. Don't want to crash into the reservoir. All right. There we go. We're getting water. We're getting water. Come back forward a little bit. Come back forward. It's so unstable here. Let's dip her again. There we go. Now we're getting some good water. There we go. Sucking up that water here from the reservoir. Check that out. How cool is that? That looks really cool. All right. I think that's good. I think we got some water there. I'm going to try to bring her back up again. We're going to retract our hose. By going back into here and then closing a left, is it left rear door, right rear door? Which one is it? It's one of these ones. Close all doors. This thing doesn't want to retract for some reason now. There we go. We got it. What's going on here with this thing? Doesn't want to work. No, I don't want to request the traffic stop backup. This thing just, oh, there we go. Oh. What's happening with it? Oh, do we just have to fly and it retracts itself? Maybe, sort of. Oh, there you go. It just retracted itself. Perfect. Love it. Fantastic. Okay, let's head back to our uh, fire coming up right here in the court center. Coming over the Vinewood Hills area. We're going to start dumping this water. Might have to make another run. I don't think this uh, helicopter is able to hold as much as, like, for example, the 747 Super Tanker, which is able to dump a lot of water down there. I don't think we need the Super Tanker just yet. The fire hasn't gotten out of control, but we'll see. There you can see there's the neighborhood lit up. That looks so cool. I love it. All right, coming back there, there is all of the smoke. Let's bring her around this way. We're going to make a pass right over here. We're going to bring her a little bit lower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop there. Stop, baby. Stop. Getting a little bit of lag here. The map is taking up quite a lot of uh, resources from the system. Even if I have a high-end system, it still takes up a lot of resources while all these vehicles and everything kind of has to load. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's start dumping our water. Here we go. Let's make a pass. And down she goes. Let's see if we can get into another camera view there. Look at that. Check that out. That looks really cool. All right, there we go. Let's make another pass. I think we have more in our tank left here for one more pass of this fire. Turn this thing back around. Oh, maybe the smoke is starting to go out a little bit. I think we're making some progress there. You can see it. The smoke is starting to uh, dissipate a little bit. I think that helped. Let's try that one more time. There you go. That looks really cool. All right. Yeah, I think that's definitely helping. You can see the smoke dissipating. Okay, let's go back to the reservoir. We're going to make another run, another pass here. Going to go back there, fill up on some more water. 
That's the thing. I wish this thing had held a little bit more, but unfortunately the tanks are are kind of small. It is a helicopter after all. So we're going to come back here to the reservoir again. Should be right here next to the Vinewood sign. Going to fill up. Hopefully it'll be a little bit smoother this time around. As opposed to last time when we was bopping and shaking all over the place. And having a hard time with this uh, retractable hose for some reason. Alright, let's bring her back down. There we go. Stop right there. Don't want to overshoot. Alright, let's get back into our simple trainer here. We're going to open up our doors. I'm going to look here for the right rear door. There she goes. Dropping right there. Maybe it's auto retracts when you start flying quickly again, I guess. We're going to find out here this time around. Alright, let's bring her down. Let's scoop up some more water. Coming down right now. And we are scooping. Look at that. Looks really awesome. I'm trying to switch my camera angles here so we can see the scooping in action. Oh, 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 oh. She's going down. She's going down. All right. Let's get a little bit more. I think we're good. All right. I think we're good. Let's see if this thing retracts itself as soon as we start flying forward. It did last time. Maybe, kind of, sort of. It's not retracting anymore. I don't know. This is wonky. The controls here on this thing are a little wonky. So if I go back to vehicle options and I close all vehicle doors, will that work? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's so weird. Oh, there you go. I think it's retracting. No? It's like it wants to retract, but it's not. Oh, there we go. I got it. That's so weird. All right. It's retracted now. That's all that matters. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. That's some some weird stuff going on here with these controls. Let's make a couple more passes here on this fire. Hopefully that will make a difference. Help out the firefighters there at the scene. So coming back here to our scene, you can see right there, there's all the lights. I'm going to turn around this way again. Oh, it's still burning. It's still burning. All right. We're coming back here a little bit smoother. Oh, starting. Everything is loading. Getting a little bit of lag. So we make another pass. And there we go. Done and done. Let's turn back around. Make one other pass. Here, we'll come back a little bit lower this time around. And hopefully that will make a bigger difference. There we go. Coming right through the smoke. Alright, let's make one more pass. Okay, here we go. One more time. I mean, I think we're making a difference there. I'm not seeing as many uh, pockets of fire as I did before. No! No! How did I... I jumped out of the... No! Oh no, I pressed the wrong button! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wow! I pressed the wrong button. I meant to switch my camera. I ended up pressing Y on my controller. And <laughs> thankfully, I'm alive, but the helicopter just crashed. Oh, no. It's now on fire. Well, that's not going to help our wildfire. Wow! That was unexpected. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Uh, now I just started another wildfire. Look at that. It's now spreading here on the ground. Uh <laughs> Look at it. Oh, OMG. It is all over the place. Yeah, this is getting bad. Guys, I just made the wildfire even worse. See? Don't, don't, do not leave it to me to fight the wildfire. You can see it's now spreading. Oh, oh my god. It's spreading like crazy. It is spreading like all over the place. Guys, I just made it worse. I made it worse. That is terrible. Look at it. It is now, oh my god, the helicopter is still burning. The I just made the wildfire or even worse because it's continuing to spread. We do have more firefighters responding now to my crash. I'm okay, guys. I'm all right. Looks like we did make a bit of a difference here. You, you don't, I'm not seeing any pockets of fire back there, but you can see this 
fire now is starting to spread. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. I think I'm going to go take a break from firefighting because <laughs> that did not work out well. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget, if you have subscribed, to hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button. Oh, thankfully, the fire is going out. When you hit the bell, you get notified every time I upload one of these amazing videos or whenever I go live. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.